Hello everybody, thanks for joining us. My name is Andrew, I'm with Pure Residence Audio and today we're gonna show you how to properly strip speaker wire. So here in front of us we have just a short piece of wire, we have some strippers, and we're just gonna go over the basics on how to do this. And so whenever you get your system, you're gonna get your speaker wire in a roll probably, or in a small bag. Um, it's gonna look like this, and you might be saying, how in the world do I connect this to my amplifier and my speakers? So um, we're gonna do a quick example. So you're gonna need some kind of strippers. They make them in different kinds. I have um, some basic ones here. Um, basically, the first thing you're gonna have to do is get this outer jacket off and expose those positive and negative wires. And so um, to do that, you just put the wire in between uh, the appropriate size uh, hole here and just kind of pinch it, not too tight, but snug, and then just kind of rip it off. And it'll go flying like that. That'll expose your positive and negative wires. And the important thing of your the stripping process is making sure that you're using the right size hole on, on your device. Um, this happens to be 18 gauge wire and so you want to make sure that you're using the 18 gauge hole on your strippers. If you do it too small, it'll cut into the, the underlying copper. If it's too big, it's not going to be able to grip it tight enough for you to strip that outer layer. So that's super important. You might have 18 gauge wire or 16 gauge wire or even 14 gauge wire. And so you'll want to make sure that you're using the appropriate hole. So uh, with that being said, we got the outer sheath off. We have our positive and wire, uh, positive and negative wires exposed. And so the next step is to make sure we got a little bit of copper exposed so that we can go into the amplifier's output terminals um, and have a good solid connection. So you'll want to leave, I don't know, about a half inch to an inch uh, not too short, not too long. We'll go over why that's important here in a second, but let's first strip these. So I'm going to go to my 18 here. Nice little pinch, pull. Got that exposed, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so there we go. It's going to be frayed. What you can do is just grab it here, kind of twist it. It's not going to hurt anything. Just make sure you're not connected to the amplifier. <laughs> Twist it a little bit, make it nice and clean. There you go, you have your positive, negative exposed wires here. So the reason it's important to get a good length is because if it's too short and you don't have much copper to work with, if you try to go into that, that block on the back of your amplifier and you clamp it down, you might get the copper wire in there and some of this outer sheath, which isn't gonna be a great connection. It could cause some problems. The opposite, if you were to go too far, let's say we stripped it back to here on both sides, and you go into the amplifier and you have all this extra copper, there's a potential for that, that back wiring to, to touch, creating a short. And so you don't want that. So you just want a little bit. I might have gone a little bit too, too long here, but that's pretty good. That'll give us a good connection. So super simple, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, but hopefully that was helpful. Until next time, we'll see you guys.